welcome to our channel south indian taste which is focused on traditional south indian recipes today we are going to make badusha the ingredients are 1 cup all purpose flour 1 cup of sugar half cup of curd quarter cup of melted butter and 1 cup of oil for deep fry In a bowl, mix curd, butter, one teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Then add the maida flour little by little. Make it into a soft dough like a chapati dough. Set aside for 15 minutes. Add water if required. Meanwhile, let us prepare the sugar syrup. For preparing it, add 1 cup of sugar in a bowl and add some water just to immerse it. Boil it till it attains the string consistency. That is single one string consistency. One string consistency means when you take the sugar syrup between your thumb finger and the middle finger, you will get us. You can add your favorite flavoring agent to the sugar syrup. We have used vanilla essence. Take a small portion of the dough and shape into small lemon sized balls. Flatten the ball and make a deep impression in the center. Heat in a foil in a white pan and deep fry them in a low flame. It is important to fry them in small batches in a low flame. It has to be cooked always in the low flame, otherwise the inside part will not get cooked. You have to fry the balls until it turns golden brown color. Then dip the fried dumplings into the sugar syrup. Let them get soaked for 6 to 7 minutes. Take them out from sugar syrup and arrange in a plate. Garnish the badushas with cashew nut flakes or badam flakes or with some saffron strands and serve it. Tips for making badushas While putting the fried badushas in the sugar syrup, make sure the syrup is warm, not too hot. While making the badusha balls, make sure it's having a fine finish without any cracks. Otherwise, it may break. Don't forget to make a deep impression in the center of the badusha in order to avoid puffing up while frying. Always keep the oil in a low flame while frying badushas. Thanks for watching South Indian Taste. Please subscribe to the channel for more South Indian traditional recipes.